if you go to my website, you will find some of the documents and some of the some of the interesting newspaper stories, the very few that were ever published about the uh, $27 trillion. You will find the legal documents on it, on the uh, talking points for radio.tripod.com. Uh, and as far as I know, they're the only documents, the only court documents in the world that are on the Internet. Now, Christopher Story was murdered over this two weeks ago. I can't believe that. I didn't. I wasn't even aware that that happened, Chris. Yeah, yeah, they took him out. And there's all kinds of stories about how he died. But he uh, he had predicted earlier that uh, that they were after him. So that troubles me. That uh, underscores the urgency of the hour and what we're dealing with here. And that's why we have static on the line. And and uh, I know people in the United States, prominent people, that have been uh, that have had uh, threats and attempts to kill them. So right. that's. That's the level that we're dealing with today, Joe. And it and it's only going to get worse. You know, as as time goes on, it's only going to get worse. Uh, now, uh, the Leo want the money. Whatever happened to that money, Griff? And do you think that it could be used in any way, um, or is it being used in any way to uh, fund this agenda? Well, we know that money out of Congress, uh, recently the TARP money and all of that, a lot of that, uh, a trillion or so, of the mix of this money went to European banks. Obama put it in Europe, and uh, the the Fed put it in Europe, Federal Reserve. You know, Federal Reserve is a private company with no oversight, no investigation, no bookkeeping. Uh, no one has any control over the over the Federal Reserve, and they pay all of the bills. Most people don't realize that, but even though they're a private company, they pay the bills for the United States of America. They have the USA checkbook. Did you know that, Joe? I I do know that. I do know that. It's really, uh, it's, don't get me started on the Federal Reserve. That <laughs> We could do a show in and of itself on, on, the, on the Federal Reserve. I think it was you last night that said they're not even registered as a, uh, as a business in Virginia, right? Is that, is that no, correct? they're not registered anywhere. They're a private company, but you will not. You you call your agency in your state that regulates corporations, and uh, you will not find them. They're not registered anywhere. Yeah, that's, uh, huh. that's, that's, well, that's quite amazing. Go ahead, Andrew. I was just going to say, I think you do about 10 weeks worth of shows on the Federal Reserve, but that whole thing is just scandalous. It's, it's unreal. You know, it, it's really unreal to look back on history and know that what our country once was and know what it is now and how did we get here. But nonetheless, we still find ourselves right here. That's true. Now, uh, Griff, can you give the folks, uh, the good folks listening tonight, your website again, just so that they uh, can go find this information out? Yes, I, I wish I had a simple uh, uh, title for that site, but it's uh, HTTP colon slash slash talking points talking points p o i n t s number four radio r a d i o dot tripod t r i p o d dot com you will find the leo want to papers down in the middle of that page that should be some interesting material to comb through um, and, and, folks, what I'll also do um, on our website, which is uh, freedomlinkradio.yolasite.com, is uh, I'll post uh, Griff's link on on our website as well as the information on uh, scalar technology so people can uh, uh, come up to speed on that. Uh, the number to call, folks, for anybody that would like to call in is 914 914- 803-4151. Anybody that has a question, uh, question for uh, for Griff, for Henning, uh, for uh, Andrew, or myself, by all means, uh, call in. It's an open forum, and uh, anybody is free to uh, to speak their mind here. So, uh, with that said, I do have a caller in queue, and I'm going to go to a area code 248. Uh, go ahead. Hi, um, I'm calling with the latitude longitude for both Wellhead A and B. Um, I found it on 
I found it on the initial uh, BP exploration plan, and it's a, a, a document that anybody can see. Uh, wellhead A latitude is uh, 28 something, like a dash or something, uh, 44-17.277 north, and the longitude is 88, uh, like a slash or something, 21 slash 57.340 west, and wellhead B is uh, 28 slash 44 slash 16.027, that's north, and longitude is 88.22 uh, or slash 00.8 or 581, and that's west. So, that, so BP's own documents confirm that there are two wellheads then? Yep, and they both also, um, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous, uh, they both actually said that they had plans to uh, cap and evacuate both, and they have the dates on it, I have the document. Can you, can you email that to me, is that possible? Yeah, can you give me the email address? Yeah, it's freedom, uh, the freedom link at CenturyLink.net. Okay, I'll do that. That would be great because then then I can uh, actually get it up and and post it to everybody. So that's yep. uh, that's wonderful, and I appreciate the information. All right, Bye -bye. I'll send it. All right, now, uh, folks, right there, you know, that is citizen journalism at work. And what I want to relate to folks uh, is that we, as citizens, now have to be the press. The press is not the press. They are not holding people accountable for uh, their actions. And they don't provide the checks and balances that are needed in order for people to uh, get justice. And that's what this is all about, is getting the justice that, that we need and the truth out to the people, you know. So with that said, thank you so much, that last caller, area code 248. Wonderful job getting that information, and I look forward to reading it. But that just confirms. Now, Henning, uh, do, do you see uh, or have you confirmed also the existence of two wellheads? Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Okay, yeah. I actually also sit with uh, several PDFs. Uh, files of uh, BP Exploration Incorporated's uh, whereabouts and what took place. And already in March 10, they reported back to, uh, I think it was a guy called Frank Patton, and they had serious problems at well A. That was the first well they were drilling. And they were actually, mm -hmm. uh, uh, not officially, but through the mail trans uh, action, over three males only, uh, allowed to just go ahead. And that means uh, go ahead, that they left well A, meaning they abandoned it while it was gushing out because they could not put down the cement because of the uh, arima which, uh, which were uh, in the way of them. And then uh, the lady that just called in and gave those coordinates, actually those coordinates she gave, that puts uh, well A and well B approximately three football lanes apart. So they are drilling into the exact same spot and they get this massive blowout. And of course they get a blowout. They drill down into a, an asphalt volcano and you can go look at the topographical maps and see exactly where uh, on the coordinates uh, the, the two uh, wellheads are being drilled straight down in the cone of uh, Biloxi, uh, uh, what was it called, Biloxi, Dome, right outside uh, the Mississippi Delta, and it's very clear they drilled into that. So my my hypothesis is they have actually dumped the oil themselves in order for them to be uh, legalized to use this amount of corrected. And a guy on YouTube tells me that his name is the Show Me Baby. He tells me that they have been using 46 million gallons of corrected to deal with this so-called oil spill. Right, right. I actually heard the estimate like to be uh, one million barrels. One million? Uh, yeah, one million barrels 
uh, which equates to 42 million gallons of 